channel if you are brand new. Thank you so much for taking time and watching me. I know there are so many other people you could watch on YouTube, but you're taking time to watch me and it just means a lot. In today's video, I did a full face using new makeup from Sephora. A lot of this stuff was from my last Sephora haul. I will throw it up right here and I will also link it down below. I think you should probably watch that video before watching this one because I swatched a lot of things in that video and in this video I just, you know, tried everything on for you guys and gave you this makeup look. So if you guys want to see everything um, from that haul and other hauls that I've done from Sephora on my face, then keep on watching. Um, like I said, all hauls will be listed down below and I just did a full face using new makeup like two weeks ago I think. So be sure to watch that as well and let's go ahead and get started. Like this video, be sure to subscribe and click that bell and also follow my social medias which are on the screen right now. Um, I'd love to have you join the Gorya gang, it would mean a lot to me. And let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, so if you saw my last full face using new makeup, I used the same backdrop, like, well, it's not a backdrop, like the same background, it's just on my desk. It's a lot easier for me to film this way. So I hope you guys don't mind it, but first I'm gonna jump into like eyeshadow. Um, the only eyeshadow product I have is this from the last haul I did that I posted like a few days ago. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below. All of this stuff is from these past Sephora hauls, but all of this stuff in this video is from the Sephora haul. I just did like the online order one. So yeah, I primed my eyelids and I've already done my eyebrows and skincare, but this is all I have for it. It's the NARS Summer Lights Face Palette, and I'm going to party tonight, so I do want to keep it like a little bit more neutral on the face. So we're going to go ahead and use this. So I'm just going to take a Morphe M456 and just hop into this color right here. It's the third color in the palette and just put this in my crease. I really like that first color. It's just like very natural, just like a whiff of a little bit of something. I'm gonna keep building it though, um, but I'm first gonna finish this other eye. I know I talked about it in my last haul, the online order one, but I love face palettes. I love when palettes have like a lot of things that include eyeshadow, face, just face stuff um, in one palette. I think it's very amazing, and I've always said that NARS, the one thing like I think they do really well is like foundation, face powders, face products. Like the formula on those things are just impeccable to me. Um, so yeah, I mean, I didn't, I don't like, I don't think anything else of this palette other than I knew I was gonna like it. Um, but you know, you never know until you try things. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more and just build this up in just circular motions, kind of just ovaling or following like the eyeball socket thing. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with like a little bit of this darker shade. I know it has shimmer in it, but I need something to, you know, deepen, deepen this like outer area. So I'm just gonna take the same brush and just like pack it on out here. That to be a shimmer and like blend it, you know, full on throughout my eye. It looks really good so far. But then again, I'm also using a little bit. Okay, so here's what the eyes are looking at right now. I used two colors from that NARS palette. And I really like just how natural, simple, easy it was. They blended super well and they look pretty good on my eyes. I am going to take like a clean brush, like just clean and just kind of blend out. Just to make sure everything is, you know, seamless and smooth and no harsh lines. I'm going to go ahead and go in with mascara. This is my current favorite mascara. It's from Wonder 2 Beauty. It's called the Wonder Extensions Lash Extension and Curl Mascara. It launched like a few days ago and I actually helped them launch it on my um, social medias, which it was super cool. It is my current favorite mascara. It literally lengthens and um, it's like so black. It does not flake. It's just like the perfect mascara in my opinion. I really, really super enjoy it. And it kind of looks like I have fake lashes like when I don't. So yeah. You guys see that difference, like mascara, no mascara, oof, it just is so good. Okay, so for now that's it for the eyes. We just have a little bit of eyeshadow on and a little bit of mascara. Um, yeah, that's it <laughs> for now. So in my last Sephora haul, which was the online order haul, I picked up so much glow. Like I literally have four products that are for the glow. I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand, this um, Ilia, I think that's how you say it, serum. The Huda Beauty, Aphrodite stuff, and then the Patrick Ta stuff. So I, obviously I can't use all of this just because like I don't want to like be too too glowy like to the point where it looks weird. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this Ilia Liquid Light Serum Highlighter in the shade Nova, and I'm just gonna pump a little bit on the back of my hand. That kind of came out like a lot, and I'm just going to smear it in the back of my hand, and then just apply this to the high points of my face, like right here. Oof. 
that's so pretty and obviously I'm gonna blend it out but I'm just gonna blend it out with my finger really nice it's such a good formula I've actually been playing around with this like all week and I I don't know I really really like it I haven't tried to mix in with my foundation yet just because I just haven't but it's a really good liquid serum highlighter um the reviews on this product too on sephora.com are like really nice too so that gives me like better hopes you know and then to amplify that a little bit more i'm gonna take the huda beauty glowgasm goldgasm highlighter i'm just gonna like sift it up a little it like squeezes out of this little tube and i'm just gonna pack this on right here and then we're just going to blend it out with the sponge actually i'm just gonna go ahead and use my finger for this step so I can get more of an intense glow. We are like really out here glowing with the skincare, skincare video coming soon, and this glow. I'm here for it, I really like it. So I don't have a new foundation, I only have my go-to, which is my NARS Natural Radiant in the shade Vanuatu. It's like the perfect color for me right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this foundation. I um use one pump for one side of my face so i like to work in like sections oh my gosh i didn't prime like i put glow on but i didn't prime i have to prime i'm a primer girl oh my gosh how did i forget that i think it's because we went in with the glow Ooh. okay well i attempted to dab that off i don't know how good i did but i tried i don't have a new primer i'm just gonna use my tatcha silk canvas and i'm just going to put this all over except the part where we put the highlight i don't know why i forgot primer now we can go in with foundation so i'm gonna go ahead and squirt like half a pump more because i wasted that and i was just saying how i like to work in sections so i'll just dot the whole right side of my face first and i'll leave a little bit on the cap just so i can build on this side and then i'll just take my sponge and work it in I've literally been using this foundation for I think it's almost like been two years right since it came out or maybe it's been like a year and a half I've been using it since the day it came out I ordered it on Sephora's website and it has literally been my favorite foundation since like it's just so good I'm gonna take whatever's left on the cap and just build on my face now I love this foundation because it really is such a great coverage. It's like a medium coverage and it, it's not like too dewy. It's really just like such a natural finish. It looks like your skin, but better. And it lasts forever on my skin. So here is one side with one pump and then here is one side with nothing. So now we're gonna go ahead and move to the other side. I am literally almost out of this foundation. And the sponge I'm using is the Jeffree Star and Morphe sponge. It is my favorite sponge. I just think this sponge applies makeup so well. I don't know why I feel like sometimes my actual beauty blender takes away foundation sometimes. Like it gets too wet sometimes, but I love the density of this sponge. And yeah, so I think this Morphe sponge is literally becoming my favorite sponge. It's all I reach for. Always blend down that neck into those ears so it looks more natural. And I still have a lot left. Well, not a lot, but I still have a good amount on the back of this cap and I don't even need it. Like I don't I don't know I've I always like medium coverage foundation I'm never a person who likes full coverage so um I don't know where exactly I'm gonna put this we'll just do like right here on the edges so I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood contour wand in the shade medium dark in my last haul and I love this I've been using it like crazy and it's so good so we're gonna go ahead and like contour with this product I think this product is just so good so what you're gonna do is you're gonna twist the cap this way and then you don't need a lot like you really don't need a lot so lately I have just been applying it straight off the bat but I just literally squirted way too much so yeah I'm putting it on the back of my hand and then I'm going to take I'm gonna take this brush right here even though I need this to like blend it out and I'm just gonna go on the back of my hand and just apply this where I would need the contour it is like opaque and full it's fully there For me, the great thing about this product is no matter how much you apply, it blends out super well. So yeah, um, we look crazy right now. We're gonna blend it. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the brush that I just applied it with just so I don't have any extra product on it. And then we are just going to go in and I like to start with my forehead most times and I just blend it 
back into my hairline now I am a medium skin tone so that's why I did pick up the medium dark one and I think it's a great color for me um and may look a little dark right now but once you add concealer and the whole shebang it ends up looking really great You can totally also use your sponge to blend this product out. Um, most times I just use a brush just because I find it is a little bit easier. And if you are confused why I put it under my lip, actually if you put contour under your lip, it gives the shadow of a more pouty lip, which is equals like bigger lips. So yeah. Honestly though, sometimes you really have to do this to get your contour blended you gotta show the double chins and i'm gonna take my sponge now and just go over this whole contour area everything that's contoured just to make sure it's all blended and the sponge also will soak up any extra product that is not necessary And also concealer will fix these areas too if we blend it a little out of the lines. Okay, so now on to concealer now that we have all of our contour blended in. I picked this up in my very first Sephora haul maybe. I can't really remember. It's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. I have the shade 31. It's my current favorite concealer. I was really unimpressed at first with it. But now that I've been using it like crazy, I love it so much. So I'm going to take a little bit right here on the top of my forehead. I'm gonna go straight down my nose, chin, Cupid's bow, here on this under eye area. And I'm gonna take a little bit actually beneath the contour to clean it up a little. This concealer, when you set it the right way, it does not crease. It is a very natural concealer, has no flashback. It's just so good, like so, so good. Alright, so here's the concealer blended. I just really like it. I think it's a very like natural finish and I don't know It's just like my favorite. I can use it on no makeup makeup days a little bit under my eyes Or I can use it on a full glam day, which is today and just make it look really good and still natural but Medium coverage. I don't have any new powders. I just have my favorite Laura Mercier translucent powder So I'm going to put a little in the back of the well not the back of the bottom of this And I'm gonna take a mini of the Jeffree Star and Morphe sponge and I'm first going to My mirror just fell. I'm just gonna blend out the inner corner because I crease really fast when my makeup is not set And I'm just gonna take the little sponge go into the back of this cap coat it fully I'm gonna go into the inner corner of my eye and go down my nose and then pull it outwards and up so I don't hit that cream highlight that is right here. I'm a baker, especially like under my eyes. I just, I crease really easily. I smile a ton, you guys. I'm a big smiler. I'm a big laugher. And so when I don't bake my under eyes, my makeup just doesn't look good under my eyes. And I also have to say that this Laura Mercier powder literally does not dry me out and I do have dry skin, so I appreciate that a ton, you know? So for the rest of the face that does need to be set, I'm gonna set certain areas. I'm just gonna take this Jaclyn Hill JH07 brush. I'm gonna go into the back of the cap. There's not a lot of product left, but I'm just gonna swirl in and use this. So I always set the middle of my forehead and I do set down my nose just because I tend to touch my nose a lot, which is super random. I do set the inner cheek area because this is where I do get a little bit oily or sweaty, if you will. And my upper lip. I'll set my chin because girl when you eat you make faces or is that just me? <laughs> I'm gonna set my contour area like exactly where I put the contour and stuff But I'm not gonna hit where that highlighter is. I'm gonna go around the highlighter and Yeah, I just don't like setting cream highlighter But I do set the bronzer area and where I contoured with cream only because when you do go back over it with the product It can sometimes sweep it away so you do want to make sure it's set really well. Now that we're done baking, I'm going to take this smaller brush, it's the M438 from Morphe, and I'm just going to tap in this bake under my eyes. I'm going to take some of this Becca Skin Love Glow Shield Prime and Set Mist and spray this on my face just to melt the powder together and make it look like more seamless. Mm, I love this spray so much. Now that we have like a little bit of glow back to our face, our whole base is done. So I'm going to like scoot up a little and show you guys how everything is looking. The contour, the liquid highlight, foundation, the powder, the concealer. So I'm going to finish my under eyes really quickly. I'm just going to go in with the same palette. I'm going to take that first shade we use and smoke it from outer corner to inner corner. Sorry that drawer was open. And 
And then I'm going in with that darker shade that we used, that shimmer one, and just smoking it just on the outer area. And boom, the eyes are finished, done. So I also had picked up this Natasha Nanana product, and I was going to do a full review on it, but I just decided not to. I'm going to go ahead and use the bronzer powder over here. It is a little, like, a little bit more rosy toned, but I actually really enjoy the powder. So I'm going to take it on this Bling Brushes F5. It's my favorite bronzer brush at the moment. I love how tapered it is, how easily it places the product. Sorry, I can't speak. And yeah, so I'm just going to go in with like two pounces, tap off a ton because it's pigmented. And we're just going to start right here on top of these cream products we already used and just work in circular motions. Do you see just how it already looks so good? I don't know. Mm, I love makeup. <laughs> like, I just get so happy about products that work. I'm going in again with my second coat. When products work and they just, like, are just so good, like, genuinely just such good products, I just get so happy because, like, I don't know. I feel like nowadays it's hard to find products that are, like, ride or dies. And, yeah. And I love the way this powder applies. Like, it's so seamless and it blends just so well. And I think it has to do with the brush, too. Because this Bling Brushes brush looks so good. And I don't contour my nose. I'm just going to, like, go over it really quickly. I know that kind of irks some people, but that's just how I do my nose contour. I just like to bronze up my nose, like the little tip of it. I don't know, I just never have contoured my nose. Okay, so here we are with the bronzer. This is what it's looking like. It's impeccable. I need this bronzer in like its own pan. I love every other product in here. I haven't used these two, but I've used the bottom two products and I love them so much, but I need this in its own pan because I really, I really enjoy it. So for blush, I picked up the Cover FX Mojave Mob uh, Matte and Shimmer Blush Duo. Ooh, so we're gonna go ahead and use this. I have been using this in I really, really enjoy this product. I'm going to use a Bling to Brushes brush again because it's my favorite. You can use code Goria for money off. I'll have them linked down below for you guys. But this is the F4. And I'm just going to dip into both, actually. Now, they do have a lot of kick up in the pan, but they apply super well. They're, like, a little powdery, but not on the face. And we're just going to go in, and I'm just going to stamp it. Okay, these new launches though, they're really getting to me because all these new launches have been so good. Also, I would like to say that this blush does last a little bit, like on your face. Like it doesn't, you know, go away quickly. It gives you like the most pretty rosy tint to your cheeks. Um, I have used them alone and I really like them alone, but my favorite way is to just like swirl my blush, my blush, my brush in and just like all together, you know what I mean? So for highlighter, I only have two things. Well, I have one thing that I got in my last video, but I also have one that I just got in a recent haul. So I have the Charlotte Tilbury palette that I could use for my highlighter, or I could use the Becca Champagne Pop, which is one I just picked up and it's my favorite one yet, like my favorite highlighter ever. So I think we're going to go ahead with the Charlotte Tilbury one first, and then we're going to build on top of it because you'll see it's not like the most intense intense highlighter it's really like sheer and nice but it like needs some building if you want it to be kaboom so i'm gonna go ahead and go in with the little shade over here and we're just gonna apply this to our cheeks well on camera it looks a lot more intense than it actually is i feel like the light really like makes it look more intense oh maybe i just wasn't using enough of it maybe okay that's the problem i just wasn't using enough of it um on my face wow so if you really go in you can be you can be transformed. So I think we are just gonna only use this highlight today now. Oh my gosh, wow. I just wasn't using enough. I'm like, oh, yes. I'm also gonna go ahead and pop it in the inner corner of my eye. Come on, inner corner highlight. There you are. And then on the brow bone as well. And I'm also gonna go ahead and use this brush because I like a more precise highlight on my nose. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do the tip right here. That's a little too much. And then right down the middle. We're glowing. <laughs> so for lips, I'm gonna go ahead and line them with my usual, which is NYX Nude Truffle Lip Liner. For the base, I'm gonna use the uh, Buxom Serena color. I hold, um, all this stuff is something I've hauled. I don't know why I'm saying that. It's like a beautiful bronze shimmer. Ooh, I really like that. Yes, color come through. That tastes good. It's plumping. It looks good. I'm here for it. And I'm going to take a little bit of white Russian, which was in my last video as well, and just pop this on the middle. Eh, let's put it all over. going to use a little bit of mascara on my lower lash line and then to 
set my face. I'm gonna use Urban Decay All Nighter, which is not something I hold, but it's just like my favorite setting spray. And then I'm also gonna take a little bit of the Becca Skin Love spray again. This is like my favorite setting spray right now, other than Urban Decay All Nighter for glow. And I'm just gonna take a few squirts on my face. And as always, I take my sponge after I'm done setting my face, and I just like to go over everything and just make sure it's all tapped in. There's no extra powder just sitting on top of my skin. And I don't know, I just feel like it melts the powders into your skin a lot more, more natural, natural makeup. Okay, you guys, so here's the finished look. Here's how my makeup looks. I absolutely 100% love everything in this video. Um, like I said in the beginning, um, it was not like a full face of first impressions because I had already used a good amount of this stuff. But yeah, I just really love the way my makeup turned out today. I love doing these trying new makeup videos for you guys from Sephora, from Ulta, Target. Like literally, let's do everything. Um, but I just really love how everything turned out. I feel like my makeup has never looked better. And I know I said that in my last video, but like in my last full face using new makeup. But I just feel like these videos always turn out so good for me. I have such good luck with these videos. And I'm happy I have somewhere to go tonight because... You know, those nights where like you do your makeup and you're like, I don't have anywhere to go. Well, I actually have somewhere to go and my makeup looks good. So that's a good thing. But yeah, I do have to rate every product I use a 10 out of 10. I mean, everything worked so well on my skin. Everything applied well. Um, I don't know if it's techniques, my skin, like I don't know, but everything worked. I mean, I think, I think it all looks really great. Have you guys enjoyed this video? If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and click that bell. And also follow my social medias, which are on the screen right now. Be sure to check out all the hauls um, from the Sephora sale. And just from Sephora down below, I have like six, I think. Um, and check out my full face using new makeup from last, the last few hauls. Um, and hopefully I will see you guys in my very next video. Stay tuned for some really cool content coming up. June is about to be crazy good for content. And I love you guys so much. Bye guys.